Okay. And my name is Cui Zhiyuan. I'm a professor of the School of Public Policy and Management at the Tsinghua University in Beijing. Uh, I, I'm interested in the basic income first because of uh, China is undergoing a, like a great experiment uh, in human history in the last 30 years. So definitely we are moving away from the traditional communist model of the former Soviet Union. However, I think we are not uh, wholeheartedly embracing the traditional capitalist model as well. So I think we are looking for some, something new. Uh, and in this contest, I, I found the un unconditional basic income is a almost a logical way of, uh, uh, of extending the social dividend out of public asset ownership, which even after partial privatization is still a significant amount uh, of asset holding in China. So uh, that's my first reason to be interested in the unconditional basic income. Second reason was that uh, in a, because when we are uh, in China trying to introduce the establish the new social security system, this mean tested uh, system in the most of Western countries now um, shows the limitation because, uh, for example, in some, in some case, like a uh, like a, some Chinese woman, in order to be qualified to get a social assistance, like the poverty, uh, like some payment for the um, because they are very poor, but they are, have to show that uh, they are really poor and uh, they. They could not even wear like the uh, earrings, and uh, they can cannot even wear the beautiful dresses because other people would consider it not uh, consider they are not really poor. And uh, so this kind of mean testing is very much a violation of privacy, and uh, um, but it, it actually could be both more efficient and more uh, humane. Uh, to provide the ba basic income to every citizen. So th I think this is the second reason I'm interested in the unconditional income. And uh, I'm very happy to know uh, across the world, in so many countries such as Switzerland, uh, there are going to be a national referendum on the basic income. I think that will be an uh, inspiration for the basic income movement, this emerging basic income movement in China. Thank you very much. You're welcome.